you never know who's uh, who's going to be a little bit daring, who's going to be a little different, and that's why we're all here, we're all excited about it. It's great to see British tailoring and men's tailoring do so well. We've got this fantastic platform now for men's work. And not before time, this is great. <laughs> see how the, the collections have influenced men on the street is really testament to its success. And the most encouraging thing I think is that people who don't work in fashion are taking an interest. You know, you can see people talking about it on Twitter who aren't necessarily inside our bubble. The London Collections Men just seems to be getting bigger and bigger the more and more we do it, the more and more people are flying in, you know, there's so much more media covering it, you know, not only here but internationally as well. The international press have been enormously supportive. I think because uh, they make the effort to come to London, they're richly paid back by strong collections, controversial collections, a lot of fun and uh, it's the place to be. London is not just the creative centre of menswear, but it's also potentially the commercial centre too because we have everything here. We have brands, we have designers, High Street, we have Savile Row, we have tradition heritage. We sort of got it all. I think London has got such a great cultural sort of uh, melting pot. Historically it's always been sort of the capital of, of music and fashion. London has an edge that no other city in the world has. It goes from very big, slick shows like Burberry right down into the new, the up-and-coming, the only just discovered, which makes it London. That's lovely.